Hey, how's it going, everybody? We got an intense war up against Sex Panthers. Clearly, I'm late to this show, uh, but I gotta do all my attacks. It's gonna be some high-level war for you guys. Hope you learn some stuff, pick up some cool counters, and or some cool defenses that make me rage. Let's have some fun with it. Every single war, there are some boxes you need to tick, and Infestation is one of those boxes. So we're gonna hit it with our budgetary Sinister Six with Quicksilver. Call it the Sinister Silver. Um, yeah, Sinister Silver coming in hot. Let's see what happens. Wow, that's a really dark screen. Okay. What you want to do here is you want to hit away from the big time Spider-Man. Don't be giving him that speed bar so that we can then ability block him. Boop. Boop, boop. You obviously Mysterious here to make sure he doesn't get all of his good stuff. And now we're at a crossroads. Look, I could special and kill a bunch of people or I could ult and try and get the kill on Spider-Man big time. I kind of like going for the kill on Spider-Man big time. The problem with that is that if you don't kill him and he goes stealth, then you're kind of in trouble. And this is a three diamond. It could be bad. So I'm going to come over here and I'm actually just going to... I'm going to special. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> Let's kill the people that have the dodges. They're gone. That, that will fuel my vulture, letting him do a turn meter rewind. We can put two ability block on the big time Spider-Man just to make sure we're safe. And then we'll hit away from big time if we can help it. If they're all in stealth, then it's perfectly fine because my Quicksilver will be able to take the charges off once he drops that stealth. There we go. So we take that charge off of Big Time Spider-Man, then we're no longer worried about his uh, devastating ultimate, stealing energy, putting blind, all that kind of stuff. Or we'll do that, um, and then and I guess it won't matter because we'll just we'll get it done anyway. Hey, punch down a million. Then you don't need to talk about strategy. Nah, but the strategy was sound. He has a giant Big Time Spider-Man to try and mess things up. Unless the whole team is giant, that won't happen. But also, if the whole team is giant, you're not going to push him into stealth. So it ends up working out just fine. All right, so we're going to do Underworld up against this Hive Mind Weaver team. Hey, do you want to face off against Hive Mind Weaver teams? Well, you better build up this two-year-old war team. Which, uh, I mean, it's interesting, right? So the whole idea here is we're going to put the ability block over on Weaver to make sure she doesn't wreck our day. Then we got to kill Red Goblin. There we go. The hit onto Red Goblin because he's super slow is very nice. And then once Red Goblin dies, we'll turn our attention to the Carnage. And then from there, it's, it's pretty easy after that. Does she have ability block or not? She does. Okay, thank God. Uh, I'm He's going to die no matter what we do. So let's go ahead and summon up. We'll get more hits off of it. Counters up. There goes the Carnage. Get wrecked, nerd. We'll take Weaver out just because she's standing there looking like she's ready to go. This will hit into stealth. Goodbye, uh, that guy. And then Void Knight, you looking to 1v10, my guy? Are you looking to 1v10? Ooh, big mistake. You angered me. You angered me. I'm going to channel my inner rage at Moretti, who I just had CC against. We both crashed against each other's Illuminati Black Knights. And I'm going to channel it. I'm just going to pretend this guy's Black Knight. Fucking die! Die! Drop your charges! Don't keep your defense up! Fucking die! 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 Die, I said! You're taking too long to die! Just like in Crucible. There you go. Alrighty, next up is four piece at a time up against New Avengers. Looking uh, looking like a nice juicy punch down. This, uh, this counter is actually pretty solid. Like, even if you shove Weaver in here over a thing... You think it might be a little more difficult, but it's pretty solid. Um, the bad news for me is that because my Cosmic Ghost Rider is by far the highest damage, he always pulls in the attacks, both from Thing and from Coulson. And that gives me a rewind, which is really annoying. So you're going to see it here. Coulson does a... Well, Coulson calls in Ronan. Ronan does a rewind. And then what happens there is now my Cosmic Ghost Rider is going to go last, which I it's very tilting because... We're going to lose a lot of the dodges that he would otherwise turn into bleeds because of this. It seems to be okay for the most part. I think the majority of people will want to have a bigger Cosmic Ghost Rider anyway. Just because, I mean, he's awesome. But yeah, it kind of sucks to lose all that extra bleed damage these dodges would otherwise provide. Alrighty. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, ready. Come on, come on, Cosmic Ghost Rider. Take a turn. Here we go. Flippy, flippy. As long as Tigra dies, we're pretty good. And because we're a striker, she's guaranteed to die here. There she goes. Ronin looking like a snack, but I think uh, Mockingbird is going to cleanse all that. Yeah, well, I, I don't really like the way things are looking right now. Let's get some of these offense ups off of them, because that's really scary. 
And then Starbrand, not Starnak, because when he's when he's geared tier 18 or 19, level 100 with diamonds and stuff, he becomes the real Starbrand. He just absolutely trucks. Uh, I'm going to do it up here, though. Let's truck. Make sure we keep that Mockingbird. See that damage? Get out of here, nerd. Get out of here, you dork. All right. Uh, let's do the the AoE damage to a single target. Obviously, get rid of that Mockingbird. Let's revive Agent Venom because, you know, he's like the mascot of the team. Taunt up. And if Agent Venom survives, we get extra efficiency points, I think. He actually does some damage. Look at that. Look at that. He actually he wrecked that thing. Agent Venom wrecks things. How about that? All right. Next fight. All right. We got Annihilator Skrull. We're going to be hitting it with our Nowhere Apocalypse characters. We could have also hit it with Gamma Apocalypse. I feel a little bit safer with Nowhere just because of Nova and the stuff that he does. But we'll see. Obviously, Star-Lord is a very scary character. Pushing Thanos at the wrong time could be huge detrimental. Um, losing all our buffs and everything like that. So that could be bad. We got to stun this this uh, Ultimus too. Otherwise, he's going to wreck our Korg and give speed bar. There's a whole bunch of shit that goes on here. The Annihilators is actually a really, really scary team. All right. That's not my favorite place to get rewound. Definitely not my favorite place at all. We lost our charges. I would have thought we'd have way more focus than necessary to keep them. The rewind on Nova makes it so we don't get by the safeguard. I think this is just a loss. I can safeguard myself here or I can punch the gladiator. I'll punch the gladiator, I guess. That Thanos is going to get pushed by those bleeds. Oh, no, he didn't. That's good. He still had his ult up anyway because of the exposed hits. That's fine. This is a horrible team. Whose fucking idea was this? All right, we'll try it with Gamma. This was horrible. Holy shit, this is bad. My game is lagging. I'm just going to close it like this. All right, let's try something different. Then we're going to go Gamma with Apocalypse here against the exact same team. Let's see if this is any better. Normally, we use a different team for this. I get that we're trying to find other counters, but boy, howdy, that that's bad. That's a feels bad moment. All right, so that's going to be a bunch of charges that are then going to get stripped by Gore, so that's kind of useless. Um, oh, I can stun the Gore. That's good. Let's go ahead and stun Gore so he will get to keep our charges. We can steal buffs. That seems like a good idea. Do you want to steal buffs? Sure, let's steal these buffs. That's fun. Everyone's in stealth but apocalypse. That sounds like a probably a horrible idea. All right, Ultimus is gonna one-shot my apocalypse. Oh, apocalypse is gonna go. Apocalypse is gonna go. Yay! Can I one-shot somebody here? I don't think I can kill this apocalypse or this Thanos. I think he'll take all my buffs away. So I think I'll go kill Gore or Gladiator. What do we think here? Ultimus already did his thing. Oh, the Empowered Punch bypasses this. Yeah, that's true. Percentile damage will bypass the Thanos. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the special, not the basic. I'm kind of upset that it didn't do the special, but okay. Let's get our Battlefield effect up. I know Gore will replace it. I should have just done special on top of Gore. I'm an idiot. Um, can we just punch him to infinity? We sure can. All right, this worked out great. This was way, way, way better. This is not comparable. Nowhere's trash. I mean, we all know that. But yeah, Nowhere's trash. Do this instead. Do this instead. A billion percent. Looks like I'm on Annihilator duty. So I'm going to go ahead and take out this Annihilator team with Mercs for money. Feeling a lot better about this one than I was the last one. I, I, don't get me wrong. Apocalypse was great, but then Annihilator team with Thanos can be very scary. That Nora match did not go good. All right, here we go. Here we go. Big damage from Dokken. I love Dokken. 
He's so powerful. Oh, well, that's going to be all of our buffs gone. Maybe he's too powerful? Maybe he's too powerful. I don't know. We got our revives up, but Gore's going to take them off. And Gore has perma kills, right? Let's do the, the special. Just get that Thanos low again. Maybe our Omen Logan will kill him before he does his ult. No, he's about to ult right now. All right, there go all of our buffs again. This is also not not do, going great in my opinion. <laughs> well, the annihilators are crazy. The annihilators are cracked. The annihilators are super cracked. Okay, we gotta get we gotta get him off the field because he's gonna do some some buck wild shit. Uh, I'm just gonna let this I'm just gonna let the scroll do the scroll things. I think. Wait, this has a rewind. It does, right? Okay, we're gonna do it here. We'll kill the ultimates, but I want to rewind that scroll so it gives maybe Old Man Logan time to get his um, stuff back up. The scroll is ulting. Please don't die, Logan. Hey, you didn't even go below half. That's great. Okay. We're stuck in here. That's okay. All right, Old Man Logan's going to get his stuff back up soon. Oh, still not ready with that yet. Okay, it's fine. We got Gorob Field, so perma kills are off the table. I'm just always like, Ooh, when Logan doesn't have his revive, it makes me feel not happy, not fun. Not a fun panda moment kind of thing. All right, let's get this revive back up. All right, Thanos is now gone. And at this point, Old Man Logan would solo, so who cares? It feels wrong that Deathpool doesn't get charges. I think Deathpool, at the very, very least, should get one charge for every time Old Man Logan takes a turn. You know what I mean? That way, like, Old Man Logan takes five turns, then you get to do a permakill in war. Like, just something. Right now, he does nothing. All right, we got that pushed out. And I'll push you down. That's your passive popped. Panda didn't do... Okay, there we go. Good stuff. And that'll be it for scroll. Okay. God, what a long match. What a long, terrifyingly terrifying match. We're going to take out Mephisto now. Let's get these attacks done, son. Uh, I forgot to hit record, but we did some Mephisto sacks, and I just I set it up. It's against Cabal. I set it up in such a way that I got to pause so that um, the leader doesn't do his ult and give energy. That's it. That's all. Okie dokie, apparently this is the play after two burn attacks into this Mephisto Cabal pre-taunt. We're going in with New Avengers. Apparently it's really good, so let's find out. Let's find out! I haven't done it yet. I'm scared. Terrified. I'm super spooked. Alright, so let's get our taunt up. I hope Mephisto doesn't one shot us. Uh, let's see. This Does this strip off buffs? Clear all positive effects on the target? This doesn't, but this might just kill him. Flip deflects and death proofs. This probably just kills him, so I save the stun with trauma. Let's save the, save the stun with trauma for later. Alright, this is a nice little rewindy dindy. We like that. Coulson, ult, or special? They all have safeguard. So I guess we go for the ult. Yeah, I guess we go for the ult, because it fucking murdered Iron Patriot. I'll go for Namor next. Because he's annoying. Tiger's going to lap him and kill him, right? With bleeds. Oh, here's the ult. That is kind of scary. Except we have dodges. Yeah, okay, so Namor's dead to that. And we dodge all the counterattacks. Wait, maybe Namor's not dead to that, actually. Oh, and we got a taunt over here. Okay, wait. We're not out of the woods yet. Oh, no neighbors did to that. Okay. This is stun trauma onto the Mephisto. Yeah, so this is pretty easy. This is pretty easy, uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Leader's not going to do much to us here. Not alone, anyway. There he goes. Mephisto's gone. And new Avengers are super good after two burn attacks. But hey, it, you still need special teams to take up Mephisto after two burn attacks. When there's monstrous teams like Cabal. I gotta make a best teams in the game video because Cabal, Superior, these teams are just like, they're crazy lifespans. 
Alrighty, next up on deck is going to be an extreme team. We're going to hit it with our nowhere team. This shouldn't be too, too bad. Let's get in there and mess it up. Uh, okay. I'm just looking at my next assignments. Okay, so this is unavoidable. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I just wanted to read it. I just wanted to read it. I wanted to stun the rogue. Oh, no. I wanted to send the rogue. I was just trying to read. Scopely, let me read. I just want to be educated. Hopefully, it's not going to be a loss now, but uh, it could be. That could definitely be a loss now. I really wanted to send the rogue, and I'm upset. Oh, well, that's going to get resisted because we have charges, so that's handy. Um, this does not chain across. No, it doesn't. So let's just basic. Boom. Well, special because <laughs> Star Wars is 100% gonna die. <laughs> Let's get offense up on our uh, Nova. That's good. Battlefield effect time. Looks like our Doggo is not gonna go before Nightcrawler. Also, looks like Nova just murdered the entire team, so it doesn't matter. Offense up, Nova Force is the best. When in doubt, do that. All right, there she goes. There she goes. All right, so nowhere, kind of trash against meta defense teams, but really good against raid teams that don't have seasonal buffs or are not named Orcus. So that's a shining endorsement of the team, I guess. Okie dokie, we're gonna come in here against this Spider Society team. It does have Black Cats, we're not getting speed up, but there's no Noir, there's no Chavez, which is super important. So let's get in here and see what happens. Let's get in here and see what happens, guys. All right, so let's do a little turn meter rewindy dindy. Um, we'll do it over here on Pav. Get those bleeds up. I just want to be able to spread bleeds what it comes down to. So we put the early ability block on Pav, and then I like to target uh, a different ability block elsewhere because what I don't want to do is I don't want to push them to stealth before Hella can spread. All right, let's go ahead and drop the slows. Oh, looks like I'm going to spread it anyway. So zombie Iron Man going after Hell. That's fine. Uh, who, who cares at this point, right? Um, I, I can't tell if she has stuff or not. So I'm just going to do it over here. She dodged. I hate dodge characters. OPOP. -op. They should kill themselves now, I think. There goes Black Cat. That's good. Juggernaut doing the damn thing. Juggernaut's going to obliterate these people over here. God, I love Juggernaut. Hopefully I don't keep him vaulted forever. I really hope he ends up on an incursion uh, node soon. All right, hopefully this will be enough to take out the path. It should be. He's like dead. Right, I took out both of them. Yeah, this is easy. Easy clap. If there's no Chavez, uh, Underworld, sorry, Undying with Robbie is a super fun thing. And Emma just kind of helps out a bit. Boom, boom. We'll do one of these just because. Okay. Basic. You a basic bitch, Penny. Spitting hot fire. We just dropped a sick verse on her. See that? Dead. Okie dokie, here we go. We're gonna be using a full Illuminati with Captain Britain up against this Alpha Flight Black Knight team. Now this shouldn't work. You wouldn't think it works. Probably might not. I don't know. Black Knight's been ruining my day consistently for like this whole week. So let's see if this is gonna go my way. We wanna we wanna tunnel down the Sasquatch as much as we can. We gotta pour damage into him, get him to go stealth here. So we are gonna eat a lot of damage. Obviously we need our Hank to give us safeguard before the North Star goes. So a little bit of damage coming in here. Good hits, good hits. Now we're gonna stun this one. We get a, like an insane amount of focus on our cat burden. So we got to stun the Black Knight. Good. With the trauma. Boom, boom. Kick his ass, Seabass. So far, so good. Mr. Fantastic will finish off that Black Knight and push the Sasquatch. Ooh, Sasquatch just straight up died. All right, we got it in the bag now. Let's go for some kills. Let's see what we can do. Black Knight, bring it home, baby. That, that guy's a fire chicken. Don't let him be a fire chicken anymore. Turn him into fried chicken. Knock, knock. Knock, knock.
There he goes. Now serve him up. Canada Thanksgiving is coming up, baby. All right. There we go. Gone, gone. This was actually really easy. Yeah, this is actually real simple. We took two Black Knight hits, and that was it. I love Illuminati. I hope they give Captain Britain to everybody soon. Bullshit to have it. Please, go, please, please. All right, so we're doing a big punch down, but this is reactor. This is where it gets a little scary. My Omega Red should go first because I have more Weapon X members. I should just get more speed bar. I should be able to control their Weapon X, or sorry, their Omega Red, so he doesn't give speed up to his team. Now, by doing that, it then comes down to Kang. Does Kang push somebody to 50%? If so, oh shit, X23 popping off. If not, Kang goes, then my Lady Deathstrike goes, and the entire team dies. Let's see what happens here right now so we have to have to have to ability to block the enemy omega red boom easy clap easy clap wasn't concerned not in for a second okay my x23 is gonna go now wait so i get ability block here yeah i guess we pushed him i didn't realize how hard we pushed him so i can stop a little bit of damage i kind of well uh, well we can make kang basic instead of special yeah, let's do that. We don't have any vulnerables. What do we care if, if Kang does his goddamn, uh, his death? He's gonna die. Kang's dead. Kang's just straight up dead. All right. Well, this was, uh, not anything special. I thought this was gonna be special. It's not. It's just not. Kang's dead. X-23 is just popping off. X-23 is an amazing character. Love it a bits. I'm so confused why my Lady Deathstrike is not going before these guys. But I'm here for it. It's fine. Let's make sure we get a kill on Omega Red here. Take any RNG out of it. All right. Lame stun. Let's stun their X-23 because we can. And then we'll just get some kills here. Wolverine. Did Wolverine got a speed boost? Why was he going first? I got to reread Wolverine's kit. Since he went to Alpha Flight, I haven't really played around with him very much. I'm going to really do this first Heroes for Hire where it's just super simple. Anyway, yep, the best debuff is death, and we gave it to them. Whoops, uh, I didn't hit recording time, but I'm taking P-Force into this Orcus Kestrel team. Thought process here is, even if Lady Deathstrike goes first, which she does, we will immediately cleanse it. Or she didn't go yet. No, she didn't go. So I do the special because it, it gives me immunity. So I don't have slow at all. Right? And she does that. Then I do this. They get immunity too. I'm fucked. I should have done Jessica Jones. Not what I did. I think we go for the kills here. He doesn't have defense up. I think I just go for the kills here. Oh, that did very little damage. Oh, it did not do very little damage. Captain Marvel, do you have it in you? Do you have it in you, girl? You do! Captain Marvel, you're the fucking best! Captain Marvel's the best. Oh, Lady Deathstrike doesn't give a fuck, though. We could see a revive here, too. Please don't die, Jessica Jones. You are needed still. You are needed and you are loved. Okay, that's good. I should go kill this sentinel. I should 100% kill the sentinel so he doesn't come back. Okay. And now we'll go here. Hopefully we don't get a scientist supreme revive because that would really suck. We'll basic for energy. No revive is good. We do have to deal with Jessica Jones turn me to rewind, which is going to suck too though. Can't control. I'll just go for energy again. Is that a fake? That was a fake dodge? I'm not sure. Okay. Turn me to rewind. Does very little damage. Our photon is doing great here. Does he give energy back? Uh, yeah, well, ult. You give speed up, right? To Alpha uh, A Force? Sure does. God, the, the safeguard on this is crazy, though. Why, would, why are they giving raid teams this much safeguard? Well, yeah, why why does a raid team outside of the goddamn raid mode need this much safeguard? This is crazy. They are they're breaking the meta. Maybe they are cashing out. 
<laughs> I don't know, guys. Maybe they are cashing out because making teams like this to sell like to people because it's like, hey, if you don't have the newest team, you just straight up lose. This is I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a weird one. All right, here we go. There goes Lady Death Strike, and hopefully there goes Scientist Supreme. The, the amount of new characters that we're seeing lately are trash. Holy crap. Not trash. They're too good. Raid teams are crazy now. People gotta build raid teams. That's a good thing. Okay. All right, to round out these attacks, we're gonna go in here with Superior Six up against the uh, Extreme Team with Phoenix. This one works out pretty good just because of the amount, the sheer amount of speed we get from um, having Protector Lizard with our Shocker. We're gonna steal a bunch of nice buffs. Unavoidable, right? Give me all that. And then we just go from here kind of thing. Um, killing the Forge, probably the best idea. Um, we don't always get to decide though. I'll go for it. Let's uh, we'll ult on top of the Forge because we're definitely pushing the Phoenix. So we're definitely getting stuck behind a taunt from the Rogue. So we might as well try and get defense down on him. Summons go up. Damage goes in. Phoenix is not dead yet. Maybe she'll die here, hopefully. No, still not. No, she's gone. Okay. We do have heal block plus trauma on everybody. So let's go ahead and throw the ult. Bam! All right, that did way less than I thought it would. But we did open ourselves up to the forge. Basic. We're going to... Vulture's going to get a turn here. So if I basic... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just basic here. Because that's going to do mega damage. Forge is gone. Vulture's got his rewind ready to go. Wizard's going to put a vulnerable up here. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, 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 bling. And then this is the summon vulture. He goes smash. He did not have offense up, so he hit like a wet noodle. But that's okay. Let's take out the Phoenix since he's got a dodge stacked as the Nightcrawler. I don't think Nightcrawler's about to solo us with his first ability, but you never know. It is Nightcrawler after all. Undodgeable attack by Goblin. Go! Brack! Alright, that's it. That's it for the war. Let's go see how we did as far as damage goes. We did have the one unfortunate loss with nowhere. And, uh, well, we didn't have to do any burn attacks. We did one burn attack. So, still pretty good. Let's go find out. All right, not a bad showing. We ended up going uh, 12 for 14 with one bear attack, so we did have the one loss that felt really yucky. 274 million damage, which uh, seems like a lot until you check out what our opponents had to put up. So we would have been, what, what were we, like ranked 8 for all players, something like that? Ranked 6 for all players. We get 5 defense victories. Let's go see those. All right, so here we are in the recordings, and we also had Orcus with Ares up there. Looks like it uh, got mirrored from Orcus with Emma. Interesting. I guess they don't have many buffs on spawn. He's also a giant punch down. Jesus Christ, look at that punch down. 2.5 million punch down. All right, after that, we had the Mephisto, Black Knight, and Hive Mind team. So that's going to be two of our five victories right there. We got one, two. All right, so our, our Spider Society got taken out by the uh, the same team we just used. That is a counter. It was actually punched down. Globals were down. Oh, our Odin got a win. Hold on. So they had to use... So this is... They had to use Underworld to beat our Odin. Oh, they tried to one-shot. Wait, did I get three burn attacks on my Mephisto? Because they held that attack. Or did they back out? Combat canceled. I was right. They backed out. Okay, so they tried to one-shot it with Odin and Annihilators. Didn't quite work out for them. So there's three of my five wins. One-shot my Outflight Scrawl. One-shot my Infestation, because of course they did. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. That's extra losses. So they used full Gamma against two annihilators with odin and that got me a win i want to see the initial attack because the initial attack is going to say everything about however that team performed right where's the initial attack i right, war dog my my shitty uh cabal team oh here it is out of time against the annihilators odin got that far i i wish we had replays i would have loved to see what the charge situation was like here. Did Gore strip the Black Knight and then it just went to shit? So, well, no, because it would have had the extra 5,000 resistance from the Cosmic Ghost Rider, right? All right, so there you go. So even the the buffed up out of time team with the Black Knight in play got it done. So that, that was my five wins. Three on Mephisto, two on Odin. The Gamma win is one I'd like to see too. So I wonder how this went, because Gamma has speed up on spawn, right? Speed up on spawn, it must have been 
Thanos. Was Thanos low? Did Thanos get pushed right away, steal the speed up off them? No, he was full life. Gladiator was kind of low. Yeah, I wish I could be a fly in the wall and watch that one. Maybe Odin just had his ult ready to go? Unsure. But hey, maybe Odin is that guy after all. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye, guys. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, healthy, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one.